guys, welcome back to 375 Dance Studio. My name is Amanda and today we are going to be talking about hip action in Latin American dancing. There are two kinds of actions that we use in our Cuban action. It is called Cuban action. So we use something called pendulum and rotation. So pendulum is side to side. This helps you transfer the weight onto one foot to the other. Yeah, and then we also have rotation which works around the hip, yeah? And this helps us work through the foot, so going from the toe to the heel. So pendulum works from the side to the side, through the foot this way, and the rotation works through the foot forward and back. Yeah, so we have pendulum and rotation. Those are our two actions that we use together. So let's just practice the pendulum action first. We'll put our arms up. It is really, really important that you do not move your upper part of your body while doing your hip action. So uh, go grab, maybe put your hands on a wall, maybe grab a stick so you can make sure that you're not moving your body around. Ready? Here we go, just pendulum. So only the bottom half is moving from side, to side, to side, to side. Just keep going. Keep moving that weight from side to side, from your right foot to your left foot. Try to find where your maximum is. Yeah, if you feel right now that, oh, it's super tight, it's because you aren't used to it. So the more you do it, the more it will stretch out. So really try to find where your maximum is. Don't pop your hip out. Yeah, we don't want any popped hips. That will not be good. Doesn't feel good. So try to make sure you're standing up straight. Stomach is really engaged, tight, and pulled in. I always call it the magical zipper. So we always have that zipper on the pants. We don't want for it to be unzipped. Yeah, then we do hip action like this. It's not good. So we want to zipper up our zipper. Yeah, and then we can do all of the work we need to do. So keep your zipper zip, good. Hold on to whatever you have and just pendulum action, side to side. Keep going, stretch it out. Yeah, I know it's a, uh, it, at first it feels like you can't do it, but just keep doing it. I promise it will get better and better as you, the days go, the more you practice it. Good, now we're gonna practice our rotation. So put your feet together. We are going to, again, hold the wall, hold something so you're not rotating your body with the hip. You gotta have work in opposition. So just try to make your right hip go back. Yeah, and now rotate your left hip to go back. So whatever you, wherever you are, you're gonna go against it. So right hip will go against the wall or against the bar that you have in front of you. And now left hip against it. And it'll go again, against and against and rotate around and around. Keep going, around and around. Make sure your shoulders aren't doing anything funky. Keep them pressed down, zipper zipped. Always the zipper zipped. It's an important thing. We don't wanna go with our fly open everywhere. So keep it zipped. Yeah, rotation, rotation. Just keep going, rotating our right hip behind, left hip behind, right hip behind, left hip, keep going. It's gonna feel tight, loosen it up. Rotate, 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 rotate. Now let's get into how we put it and mush it all together to create Cuban action. So it's called Cuban action when we mush them together. So first we're gonna put our feet apart, shoulder width apart, Make sure you, again, holding onto a wall, holding onto a bar, whatever it is. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate our left hip behind. We're gonna start with the rotation. Now, we're going to get, we're gonna do a pendulum action so we can get our weight onto our foot. Make sure you keep your heels on the ground at all times. Don't let the, the heels come off the ground. Make sure they're planted into the ground. So now we're gonna make our right hip, so our left hip is back, our right hip is going to pendulum forward and diagonal. Yeah, so that's a pendulum action. We're getting onto our foot. So you should feel your weight going into your right toe. Yeah, so we're getting pendulum action. 
Now, from here, we're going to rotate around our right hip, rotate, and you're gonna feel that hip going back, 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 as far as you can possibly go. And that, you just created one part of our Cuban action. Now, again, we're going to pendulum with our left hip, so that was the end, staying on the right foot, just uh, sorry before I move on. I wanna say that you do that um, rotation around that right foot. So don't, as you rotate, start moving over to your left foot. Keep it right, 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 right. Yeah, over the right foot. Now, let's move on. Left um, is going to, the left hip is going to go forward and diagonal on our pendulum, yeah, and the same thing like we just did over there, to our right, we're gonna go around on our left, around, around, till your maximum hits, yeah? Now, if you feel like, oh my God, I'm going all the way, and you did this, yeah, that means your zipper wasn't zipped. So you have to keep it zipped and do your maximum. If your zipper unzips, then you're gonna get this when you do your Cuban action, and maybe, <laughs> Somebody might like that, but it doesn't look as appealing, yeah? So we want to try to make sure we keep our zipper zipped all time so that it's almost as if my butt is tucked in. But it really, I'm not trying to squeeze my butt cheeks very tight, but I'm just trying to keep my front very tight. So here we go. We're going to try it a million times. Hold on to that wall, bar, whatever you have, we're going to have and forward and around. And now to the left, forward and around, to the right, forward and around, hold on to whatever you have, forward and around, keep those feet planted into the ground, and again, forward and around, keep that zipper zipped, forward and around, long neck, long spine, forward and around, hands to the bar, to the wall, whatever you have, don't let it move, don't let those shoulders move, Forward and around, and again, around, and around, and around. So if you notice, when I do my Cuban action, it is creating a figure eight or an infinity sign. So my hip will go that way, that way, that way, that way. Forward and around, forward and around. So it doesn't do around like this, right? We're creating an infinity sign. Yeah, so it goes around one way, around the other way. This way, that way. Yeah, let's try it again. Hold on, and here we go. Around and forward and around. Keep that zipper in, forward and around. Reminding myself to forward and around, forward and around. Keep going, good. Do it four more times. One, two, and three, and four. Four. Good. Now we're going to do it with Roomba timing. As we said before in the previous video, Roomba timing is two and three and four hold one. Two and three and four hold one. So you're going to four hold one. You're going to make the biggest circle and really use up that timing. So how it's going to go is two and three and four hold one. Yeah, so it's not just like four, hold one, and just stop. You still continuously move through the one. Again, two and three and four, or one and two and three and go, 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 go. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four four and one and keep going and three and four and one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one we can do this cuban action feet apart but we can also do it with our feet together it's even more difficult than with our feet apart so we're gonna put our feet together. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to let our hips do circle, circle, circle. But now we also have to coordinate our knees because 
When we're apart, our knees are always straight. But now when our feet are together, they have to take turns. One bends, one straight, and one bend. So now we also have to coordinate the knees with the hips. So how we're gonna do that is, right away when my hip goes into a pendulum, my, so let's set it up again. Left hip back, right? So my right knee should be bent. So now as I work going towards my, my uh, right, hip is going to pendulum forward, my right knee is going to straighten, right knee straightens, and make sure your heels are on the ground at all times. And now, as I do my rotation around my right hip, my left knee is going to bend, yeah? Now again, the same thing, my left hip is going to do a pendulum forward, right now my left knee should be bent and my right, my left knee will straighten as the pendulum ha happens. So left knee straightens as the pendulum happens. And now as I rotate my left hip back, my right knee will bend around. Yeah, we're gonna do that a few times. So we're gonna chop it up a bit. We're gonna get be a little choppy right now. That's fine, and then we'll smooth it out later. So first we're gonna do straight and around. Straight and bend the right. Straight and bend the left. To straight knees, bend the right. To straight knees, bend the left. To straight knees, bend the right. To straight knees, bend the left. To straight knees, bend the right. To straight knees, bend the left. Yeah? Now we're gonna get it a little bit smoother. Here we go with Roomba timing, and two, and three, and four, hold one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and keep your zippers zipped in, and make sure your hands don't move off the wall. Two and three and four, hold one, two and three. Make sure your heels don't come off the ground. Two and three and four, hold one, two and three and four, hold one. Now we are going to do the Cuban action with our feet apart with slow music. Ready? together with slow music. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please comment below. We would love to answer all of your questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.